Hello everyone. This is day 10 and I have one of the most important topic to discuss in today's mind map. We are going to talk about electron transport chain complexes. Four important electron transport chain complex and one enzyme that is ATP synthase enzyme. So start with complex 1 which is known as NADH dehydrogenase complex 2 known as succinate dehydrogenase complex 3 cytochrome bc1 complex complex 4 known as cytochrome c oxidase and finally the enzyme atp synthase these are the five important parts or enzymes and components involved in the inner membrane of mitochondria where the electron transport chain process will work and in electron transport chain what happens is that nadh and fadh2 are the electron carriers donate electrons to individual complexes either complex 1 or complex 2 respectively and the electron is transported while they transport electron they pumps out proton from the matrix of the mitochondria to the intermembrane space so let's see what is the role of individual complexes so complex 1 or nadh dehydrogenase role is to transfer electron from nadh so nadh donates the electron to coenzyme q or ubiquinone the number of electron transported here is 4 and the number of protons pumped from the matrix to the intermembrane space is 4. Now comes the complex 2. Complex 2 is where FADH2 begins its journey. If NADH starts the journey in complex 1, FADH2 starts the journey in complex 2. And the complex 2 enzyme note succinate dehydrogenase which is an enzyme of TCA cycle or citric acid cycle or Krebs cycle right remember that FADH2 donates the electron in complex 2 that is to coenzyme Q or ubiquinone now as FADH2 starts the journey of electron carrying from the complex 2 thus FADH2 always produce less amount of ATP compared to NADH number of electron transport here zero uh, from complex 1 because FADH2 starts the journey here so no transport of electron from 1 to 2 okay and so 1 is independent 2 is independent no proton movement now comes complex 3 that is cytochrome BC1 complex transfers electron from coenzyme Q to cytochrome C both are mobile electron carriers in the mitochondrial inner membrane and now uh, the number of electron transport here 4 the number of protons pumped from the matrix to the intermembrane space of mitochondria is also 4. Then the electron is final destination it reaches the destination of complex 4 uh, which is known as cytochrome C oxidase complex. Uh, it transfers the electron from cytochrome C to terminal electron acceptor of ETS and terminal electron acceptor here is oxygen. So the last electron is received by the oxygen oxygen is reduced to water. And the number of electrons transported here is 2. Number of protons pumped from the matrix of mitochondria to the intermembrane space is also 2. And finally, once all the protons are pumped into the intermembrane space, so there is a huge proton gradient created between the intermembrane space and matrix of mitochondria. How many protons are pumped? 4 in complex 1, 0 in complex 2, 4 in complex 3, so total 8 and 2 in complex 4 total 10. 10 protons are pumped with journey of 1 NADH and 1 FADH2 and now the 10 protons which is staying there will now transfer transport it from the intermembrane space into the matrix while the ATP synthase enzyme acts as a molecular turbine to produce energy utilizing proton motive force of the proton gradient number of electron transports uh, steps here so basically multiple steps are done here and uh, the proton movement utilizes the proton gradient to generate ATP in a matrix of mitochondria this is how electron transport chain helps to produce ATP by ATP synthase in the matrix of mitochondria but the role is played by the inter inner membrane of mitochondria intermembrane space as well as the mitochondrial matrix so that concludes our understanding of electron transport chain. You need to have a very clear understanding of number of electrons and protons moved, the complexes that are present there and also the inhibitors of individual complexes. We'll discuss about the inhibitors later on in a separate mind map. So watch this whole series of mind map and it's our journey of 365 days. One mind map every single day for a year. And I bet you that you're going to come up as a better source of knowledge 
for the field of biological sciences after this one year of study so continue with this series because it's going to provide you benefit for csr net get ls get biotechnology icmr jrf uh, the q8 pg uh, bhu jnu examination and all the other institutional phd entrance examination as well so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future all the very best for future career